<laughs> I tell you what, this is a seriously good campsite. This is called Pike's Flat. Obviously you've got your beautiful river, but you've also got these lovely big wide green grassy campgrounds. Now, you might have noticed that I've been towing a little bit of luxury here. This is what I've been sleeping in in the high country on this trip, and it's called the Track T-Van, and this is the Canning model. Yep, have a look at this structure out the front. I've never personally set it up in the past, but it took us around about 13 minutes. So it is fast to set up and it gives you all of this extra living space out the front. Nice and shady, but if you do want to stay even longer, you can attach awning walls with massive big gauze windows right around this area. Look, I suppose the first thing when I'm ever advising anyone that wants to take a camper trailer off road, first thing you should consider is just how ruggedly these things are built because I mean think of the worst possible scenario and the last thing you want to have happen is that your family is stranded and you perhaps even have to leave your camper on the side of the road because it's quite frankly just fallen apart. I can pretty much guarantee, hand on my heart, <laughs> that that's not going to happen with one of these. They've got MC2 military grade suspension. Now when you drive behind one of these things on a rough track, you can see just how well that suspension articulates. But it's not just articulation that you're after, you want, you want it to actually hold together and certainly with this trailer, the camper trailer's chassis is actually hot dipped galvanised, so it's not going to rust on you and it's certainly very well built. Attaching it to the car is also another thing you need to look out for and this has got a DO35 off-road coupling. It is a beautiful setup and it sort of self-centres over the pin really easily. To enjoy your little lap of luxury, you'll have a queen-size bed and the lighting throughout it is really snazzy. It's LED, so it draws really low power and a three-speed 12-volt fan with a timer. Our T-Van Canning Camper came with a few additional options, including a 47-litre ARB fridge and a half-front boot. Now, this boot is designed to take a variety of fridges and simply slides out alongside your kitchen for easy access. So if you're looking for a camper trailer where you really want to perhaps sit back on 80 mile beach in WA for like three weeks at a time, then you might want to throw the T-Van Canning on your shopping list.